Yeah. Welcome back to another episode, guys. Compañero, ver el compañero intern got new jobs. He's gonna ditch me. I'm gonna do you guys his packages. All right, so también me llegó otros samples de bajo quinto strings that I'm trying to take out. Oh, I gotta go already. <laughs> Thank you, fool. My pleasure. <laughs> Go down and give me five pleasure push up. Oh, you think you're ready anything. for a first day, fool? Or are you gonna come back fired? The first day? <laughs> yeah. He's gonna come back begging to join the Quintasa squad again. Like, he won't hang. I don't think he can hang. <laughs> you want some pleasure push ups or what? Give me those pleasure push ups, fool. I gotta do it quick, fool, so I'm gonna be late. First day of training, fool. <laughs> this is what they taught me. My. Pleasure, my pleasure, my pleasure. <laughs> Training complete. You gotta sling some strings on the side. You already know. You, you gotta be like. You already know. You, 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 already gotta, know. <laughs> you gotta be like. I can get you some strings on the down low, fool. Twenty you, bucks. Fool. Twenty bucks. Use my delivered. Delivered. Come by entry. Get twenty percent off. <laughs> Free shipping off your first order. <laughs> Hey, don't get carried away. <laughs> <laughs> so I was working and then the company trick came back, fired the oh first God. day or what? Fired the first day. So they were tripping about my shoes. Hey, I'm like, shoes. I'm like, fool. They're, they're like, are you sure there's slip resistance? I'm like, I'm pretty sure. And they're like, oh, but they had to be oil resistant. So I was like kind of mad because I'm only scheduled for 14 hours and I only work like 30 minutes today. <laughs> so. All right, guys, and just an update. I'm still testing out Ajo Quinto strings. These are nickel wound. I'm guessing these are stainless steel and they sent me this other material. Look, check it out. It's a different color. So I don't know, I, I wasn't expecting this one, but it kind of looks like uh, phosphor bronze. So I'm gonna test these two out. I'll hit them up a ver que, and I'll see which ones are better. Yeah, so just for everyone who's ordering Requintazo strings, like honestly, thank you guys. And if you guys have an order, please buy a pack. It'll really, I'd really appreciate that. And if not, it's cool, dude. So I'm gonna take these to the mail and then when we get back, I'm gonna show you guys something cool, all right? So stay tuned, let's go. Compa intern back. I'm Taking back, the guys. Mail. I got fired my first day. Fired the first day, gonna take the mail for the Requintazo squad. Compa intern. What up guys, so right now it's 9.46, we're still working at Pena Subido Video on Instagram. <laughs> so you know that grind life. I was, I'm gonna show you something right now on the guitar real quick, but before that I wanna show you something. I Pena me mandó el graphic designer, uh, the new designs, cause I'm gonna take out Bajo Quinto strings for the Requintazo line. So I need your help también. Um, I just uploaded a picture on Instagram, if you guys wanna check it out on Requintazo strings on Instagram or my Instagram, Casio Giovanni. Uh, comment number one or number two, everyone's going crazy. Watch, check it out. All right, so that's design number one. See, everyone's commenting, everyone's going crazy already. They want the new Requintal string, so that's the first design number one or number two. All right, so again, number one or number two, side by side. I don't know, so. Honestly, uh, saludos, compa Fonzo. You get down, dude. Me la dejaste muy difícil. Like, it's really hard to choose between those two designs because you got down. So I'm going to let it up to you guys. Decide, comment down below, number one or number two. And that's going to help me out, uh, take out the Bajo Quinto strings faster so you guys uh, could try them out. All right, so ahora sí, let's get started on the guitar. A, a little tip before we leave, before we end this vlog. So let's do it. All right, so a question I get a lot is how can I make my playing sound not so simple because a, a veces muchos de nosotros tocamos apenas cuando estamos empezando a tocar tocamos así like and that's all right like tienes que tener una base a huevo tienes que tener una base para seguir una canción entonces tienes que to tienes que tocar así pero a veces cuando tocamos Toda la canción así, nos aburrimos and like we want to add more stuff like we, we want to make it more fun and sound more like more exciting, more harder, all right? So, una de las cosas que puedes hacer is just mess around with with tus tiempos, like your time signatures, like instead of just doing everything on, on beat, like uh, this, uh, this, you could add stops to it or you could like mess with the time count. So if you're like one, like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. 
instead of instead of going on the one two three you could go on the one and the i don't even know i don't know my music theory dude but as you could hear that's simple so even something simple like that like messing with your time could add like a different feeling to the song so let's hear that again so so like just messing with your time signatures dude like even if you're playing simple chords no mas warning don't overuse this because if you're playing the whole song like dun, dun, like it, it, it ruins the moment because like people aren't expecting to hear this so if you add it like once it's all right because like you catch them by surprise but if you keep adding it a lot of grupos like add it the whole song and it kind of messes it up at least for me it messes up the feeling to it so like if you're if you're putting it every verse people already expect it so it doesn't sound as cool as when you just do it out of nowhere so that's a little tip that, that you could use también te voy a enseñar otro consejo and then i'll end the vlog right so um i don't know my music theory como les digo pero this uh, shape that i learned that you could use es una escala i think it's a uh, uh, pentatonica it's used a lot in rock Right? So I figured out that you could use that scale in una acorde mayor. Like if you're playing sol, you could use it right here. Right? So, um, rapidito, if you're starting right here in sol, you see this finger, the first finger, it's in el tercer traste, so we're gonna start the scala right here. Alright, so it goes like this. Start here, skip two, then we just skip one. Skip one, skip one. Right here we skip two, and again two, two trastes. So when I say when I say skip two, we're skipping these two. All right. So it's basically this: skip two, skip one, skip one, skip one. Skip two and skip two. All right, so you could add stuff to that, like you can mess around with that. So if you're playing like, so if you're using that, you, like just mess around with that scale, dude. Like, like I don't know, like I'm just making that up, like. I don't know, just mess with that scale, like... <laughs> I don't know, just keep messing with that scale, dude. You'll find stuff to add to different songs. I mean, like if you're playing in Sol, we start here. So if you're playing in La, igual, you're gonna start here. Since we're starting with this finger, the first finger, in El Traste Cinco, igual. See? Or we're starting here. Just memorize those shapes. Alright. So, con eso voy a acabar el vlog. Hope you liked the vlog. If you liked it, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Share this video with your friends so I can help more people out and so more people can learn from this video. Alright. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.